this painting by Pierre-Auguste Renoir dispels one of the myths of Impressionism. That is the misconception that the Impressionists never painted with black. In this painting, entitled La Loge, Renoir employs black as a vibrant color that activates his composition. Painted in 1874, La Loge was included in the first so-called Impressionist exhibition. This was the exhibition that established the Impressionist movement. Perhaps, as Renoir considered what paintings to include in this groundbreaking exhibition, he meant for La Loge to be a statement about his own relationship to the Impressionist theory of color. One of the characteristics of the Impressionist method was the use of color as a compositional device. For example, in Dance at the Moulin de la Galette, Renoir employed contrasting bright colors, such as yellows and purples, to both activate and unify his composition. This painting exemplifies the color theory of simultaneous contrast, in which contrasting colors are visually harmonized. But could the Impressionist theory of color also be applied to black? Since black absorbs all visible light, it would seem ill-suited for the Impressionist project of depicting fleeting passages of light. And yet, Renoir called black the queen of colors. Renoir was as much a master of painting with black as he was skilled in using all colors. In La Loge, Renoir demonstrated that black could be as refined and versatile as any other color. He combined and contrasted areas of black with passages of white, and he added touches of blue, yellow, red, brown, pink, gold, and more as accents to the black. Renoir's finesse in using black as an Impressionist color is also demonstrated in his 1880 painting, A Box at the Theater. This work depicts a woman, and perhaps her daughter, attending the theater. In this painting, to use Renoir's words, black is the queen of colors. Look at the black dress, the black in the young girl's hair, and the arresting black of the woman's eyes. Black is essential to this painting's enticing compositional structure. Renoir showed a box at the theater at the 7th Impressionist Exhibition, held in 1882. This would also be the last Impressionist Exhibition that Renoir would participate in. In a way, La Loge and a box at the theater represent the beginning and the end of Renoir's participation in the Impressionist movement. And in both of these works, Renoir used black as a means of visually interconnecting his painting. La Loge exemplifies the Impressionist method of using color as a compositional device. But Renoir defied any narrow characterization of that theory. Renoir embraced the challenge of using black to visually unite and activate his painting. La Loge is a celebration of the visual dynamism of black.